I feel like taking something like a company on, at, like to this stage of a company, this early in my life, definitely helps you, like, mentally age a little bit faster than most. Just because it's like you're doing real, real life stuff. If you can actually be working on something and designing something that actually resonates with you, like, I don't have to fake anything. If everything is based on my genuine interests and feelings, then it's, it's very easy to feel if it works or not. Like, if I don't like it, I mean, it's probably not perfect for the brand. And if I really do like something, regardless of other people like it, it fits in with the brand, and we'll put it out in one way or another. The exploration stuff, it, I mean, it ties back into what I was just saying. It's all based on, like, reality. Like, exploration and, like, a metaphorical sense of trying new methods of making clothes or making new silhouettes or d using fabrics I'm not comfortable with. It's like, let's explore what that looks like. And then, but exploration as a whole, it's like, I'm still technically new to California, so I'm exploring this whole thing, too. I'm exploring this industry. I'm exploring these new things. So it's like... That's like an overall theme of my life right now. So it's just translating that into a physical product and brand. You just can't replicate textures like, you know, it's uh, like designing something and then figuring out... I grew up in Atlanta until I was 10, and then I moved to London until I was 18. So it's like, I obviously didn't really pull much from Atlanta because I was a child. But uh, London was where I developed the initial interest in all of this stuff, and so just Obviously, the interest goes back there, and like the reference point, the starting point is always going to be like what I was into in London. But now it's like how, now that I've been here for three years now, it's how are we taking things that I was interested in over there in like a, a big city, like dark, gloomy, uh, like huge city, and then translating that into like this crazy open land of, like, California as a whole. Charlie, did you want to do more colors of this? Or should we wait and see what the skirt looks like? I really like just working fast, like, the, I'm trying to do everything I can now. Like, I just want to run really fast with all the things, like, while they're happening at once. It just opens so many more doors to be like, okay, let's do that. Now we've done this thing, three more doors open, let's explore all of them. I don't know. There's, like, a lot going on. And so it's, like, it's still really hard. As the, the pace is really outpacing, like, the pace of building the company infrastructure itself. So it's like all these new doors are opening, but there's still the same amount of people trying to like work on them. What Reese used to quote the piece? So that was the initial thing that I made. I don't know if it does end between like Reese Cooper the person and Reese Cooper the brand. Uh, it, there's definitely separations, but it's a. Uh, I don't. Because it is on my name, I originally did that to put the pressure on myself. Which is, do you really want to put something out that everyone is going to be able to find for the rest of your life? Like, are you sure it's ready? Because, like, making clothes at, like, 18, being like, I'm ready to put this out, it's like, all right, let's reality check. Are you going to be happy with this when you're 30? Uh, but I think it really paid off. How's this coming? Yeah. Looks good? Yeah. These are, these are jumpsuits I did for the first women's collection. <laughs> Full denim jumpsuit. We're making a bunch of them right now. They look great. Everything looks good. The first year was very difficult because I was going through a lot of my personal life but still having to put out 
like a large volume of work and pack all the boxes myself, like make sure everything was good, correspond with the stores. Like it's really hard to do all of it on your own, especially when you're not excited to be doing it. When you are excited about what you're doing, it's like, all right, I got to do this, but then I can do the fun stuff. Uh, right now it's like a lot of fun stuff. So it's like everything is super quick. Like I'm excited to go to work in the mornings. It, it feels like work all the time, but it's like a job you're excited about doing. I'm not gonna say it doesn't feel like work because that's just a lie. It's like if a construction worker loved his job and saying it doesn't feel like work, it's like you're still lifting stuff. Uh, and your arms can feel it. it it's really, uh, I don't know, it's all work, but it's a very good job to have. I just don't want to be at a point in five years where I'm like, damn, what, what if I gave it 100%? Like, so that's what we're doing now. It's like, it's all or nothing.